Well this is a very short video showing you how I would add a couple of figures to this winter landscape. Now the demonstration for the winter landscape is on my YouTube channel but now this is just a little supplement just a little five minute uh, demo just to show you how I would add figures. Sometimes people say to me now I wouldn't add figures to that you've got enough in there. Sometimes people do like the odd figure or two so I'm going to add figures to this one anyway and you can make up your mind. Um, now the body of the figure is going to be quite warm red. Always nice in a cold scene to add a bit of red, a bit of brown and just going to watch scale and I'm going to stand the figure one figure here there like that not difficult to add figures I would say they normally got long coats this time of year um, and the other figure is going to be a little bit smaller. I always do the bodies first. Um, the other figure is like a brown yellow. Just to make it a little change. Be fairly light against that um, background dark. This one is going to be somewhat smaller. So we're going to have sort of like a child and a and a parent probably. Now dark sort of let's go light brown with the um, legs as it were. Same there like that. And we're going to put in something quite light for the head as well. It's got to be quite light because obviously um, they'll be probably wearing hats actually. So um, that's... There we are. And the hat will be brown again, I think. There we are. And the other figure's hat will be on the bluey red side. And that would be like that. peak on that one. Good. A bit darker for the tops of the legs, a bit dark down the back. Just add one or two little darker touches. It just helps to indicate arms possibly. And of course because they're looking down I'm going to put in a small dog. And this has got to be very very dark against the lighter and the dog will be looking up to them for obvious reasons like that and there you go two figures added quite simply a bit of light colour now just catching back of the neck there and there a bit lighter on the face rim of the hat and a little bit darker for the underside of the coat just there and there and then clean the brush straight blue to get an additional 
much shadow under them. Always nice to have a little bit extra depth of shadow and while I've done that I'm just putting in a bit of depth of shadow along the track possibly just showing a few footsteps as they've gone along in the snow area. All adds to the feel of detail and helps the um, overall look really. Spread that through, lay them down, that's good. Close that bit of light there. Don't don't want that light there. It just detracts from the picture. Good. Okay. So that's how you simply add figures rather subtly. You know, very very subtle. Nothing to, you know, you, when you first look at it, you may think that perhaps they're not, um, not really uh, there. Although, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a touch of white to the back of the coat there, and a touch there. Then I'm going to clean the brush and blend that through. It just helps, you know, the figures are there, but they don't want to be overly seen. There we are. That's what I'd require. Just a hint of light catching the tops of their coat. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed that very short video. If you have, please subscribe by clicking the logo bottom right hand corner and stay tuned to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.